All right, you guys, today we'll take a look how to make this wavy halftone text effect with perfect circles here in Illustrator. For the font, I'm going to go with obviously narrow bold. It's a free Adobe font you can download. I'm going to leave a link in the description. I'm also going to decrease the distance in between the letters. And from here, the first thing we're going to need to do is recolor it to this gray right here. Now let's go to the effect, warp, and select the flag. And at the bend, I'm going to go with 36%. Click OK. Let's go back to the effect. Let's go to the blur and select a radial blur. Here, make sure that the blur method is on spin. And for the amount, I'm going to go with the default 11. But feel free to experiment with the value that works for you the best. Click OK. And let's go to the object, rasterize. I'm going to go with the default settings, RGB, 300 PPI, white background. Click OK. Now let's go back to the effect, pixelate, and select color halftone. I'm going to increase the max radius to 30, and the channel 1, 2, 3, and 4 is going to be on 45. Click OK. So basically, this is the effect that we are looking for. The main purpose is to have distance in between all these circles. I also want to increase the size of the halftone. So I'm going to go here to the properties, and here we got the color halftone. Click on it, and this way you can increase it. For example, I'm going to go with 65. I think this is going to be pretty good. Let's go to image trace, click on default, and let's open up the settings and make sure that the circles are not connected. If they are, you can go to the threshold and decrease it. But in my situation, everything is clean. So let's go down here to the ignore color. Let's check the checkbox white and click on expand. After you are done, you can see that the circles are not perfect. They are oval and they look distorted. So we're going to need to fix that. So for that purpose, we're going to need to use a plugin. And I'm also going to leave a link in the description how you can install that plugin. All right, so I'm going to go and select a circle. Press and hold shift, create a perfect circle. And let's go and expand the shape. Press control C. Or you can go to the edit, copy. And also make sure that this composition is grouped. So I'm going to go and select everything, the circle and the text. Let's go to the file, script, and select replace items. Here we're going to go with the default settings and make sure to check replace items in a group. Click OK. Now it's going to replace every each circle. After you're done, you can delete the circle. Now if I zoom in, you can see every each circle is perfect. Now I'm also going to remove these really small circles. So I'm going to select the composition, right click on group, and just delete the circles that you don't want. Now this is going to be a tedious job, but this is the only way I know. After you're done cleaning it up, we got a last step to do. And I'm going to select all these circles, right click, group, and I'm going to go to the object, path, and select offset path. And I'm going to go and increase the offset until these circles are going to connect. I'm going to click OK and let's zoom in and check this out. It is going to look like this. I'm going to select it. Let's go to the pathfinder, click on unite. And for example, if you want to remove the interior parts, you can go and select the direct selection tool and just select these holes, press on delete, delete again, and just clean it up like that. And this how it looks with some of the holes removed. Now in order to get the best results, you're going to need to experiment with different values. And pretty much this was it. Thanks for watching.